Hi, welcome to Martin Hacks. This is the third video of a series on how to structure innovation. And today we're going to talk more in detail about how different ways of working like design thinking, agile and lean, they come together to actually unlock continuous innovation. And this is the number one question that I have um, received in different Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups. They are all asking me as an innovation coach, how can we crack this? And I have seen a lot of frameworks online and they are all quite right, but they are quite complicated. They have all of these loops over loops over loops and people, they get a little bit like, oh, I want to work agile, but then suddenly I need to do that. And it's like just complications. So I've tried to make something extremely simple for everyone to understand that we need the different ways of working for different phases of the innovation journey. Now, if you haven't seen the first two videos, I will just go very quickly through them, but please go, uh, go and check them. They are in the link below. The first one is about the right mindset to innovate. The right mindset to innovate starts with who we are, who we are as a company or as a startup, but also who is our customer. And what is that soul matching, right? Between what we want to do uh, in, in life and what the customer really need. And even at a bigger, um, at a bigger picture, that it's what Japanese will call Ikigai. And that is, so are we really in sync between what we want to do and what the world needs? And I think this, this question is really the fundamental, the cornerstone question to start the innovation journey. The second is why we are doing this and why we are doing this for that specific um, customer. The third one is how we actually produce it, how we actually do the task that we need to do. And the last thing is to be productive at the task itself. So this, is, this is the framework I explained a little bit better in the other video. The second thing is that I explained that to create value through time, nature has a very elegant way and where an organism um, so is born and grows and then gets stable and maybe it decays, right? But we are not going to talk about that this time. So today we're, uh, we're going to talk about, yeah, we need to start with who is our customer, right? And in that process, inside of the curve, that will start with design thinking. So design thinking, and I, will, I have other videos for that, so please check them below. Design thinking will enable us to understand the customer. Who is our customer? We need to answer to that question. When we have that question, really well defined, we can couple design thinking with a strategy, okay? So the combination of design thinking and a strategy is really, really powerful. So this, this is like really putting designers together with business people. It's really, really powerful. Now, after that, see how we are actually going to develop this. And for that, we have Agile. Agile is a lot about speed, about collaboration, when things started to get a little bit more um, uh, fast and complex. So Agile, it really, really helped us to, do, um, to unlock the speed of development. However, at some point, we are going to talk about not only speed, but also operation. So Lean Startup will help us to link that part with the customer, with sales. And there is a lot of what some people will also call here growth hacking, right? So we are talking about agile in startup growth hacking in this area where we can really take off. Finally, our company will grow up to some point where we um, onboard many more people. And these people will have very different types of backgrounds and knowledge and ways of working from previous companies and so forth. So it's really at that point where we see that the growth starts um, this accelerating, we will see that it is because the waste is coming on stream. We have longer value chains, now we have customer service and many other things. So to empower the people bottom up and enable you to, to um, deal with the task of the day in a very productive way and not scale those things up, then we have Lean. So Lean tools are really, really useful for those what questions. So now, 
This is a really elegant way of going from starting your own company to um, um, having a mature corporation. Now, the question that I usually get is how a mature corporation can um, can enable innovation again. And this is really the question that I will address in the next video is what are the questions we need to ask ourselves as a corporation to reinvent growth, to re-enable growth. Okay, the second question is what are the events that they are happening in this curve? What are the triggers we need to take a look at? So the next video will talk about triggers, another video will talk about what are the right questions and then a series of more or more videos will explore how disruptive technologies work with this, how people portfolio work with these personality types. So it's really fundamental to understand this. Um, if you have liked the video, please share it, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because there is much more to come. Thank you very much.